An ore is an occurrence of rock or sediment that contains sufficient minerals with economically important elements, typically metals, that can be economically extracted from the deposit. The ores are extracted from the earth through mining, they are then refined often via smelting to extract the valuable element, or elements. The grade or concentration of an ore mineral, or metal, as well as its form of occurrence, will directly affect the costs associated with mining the ore. The cost of extraction must thus be weighed against the metal value contained in the rock to determine what ore can be processed and what ore is of too low a grade to be worth mining. Metal ores are generally oxides, sulfides, silicates, or native metals such as native copper that are not commonly concentrated in the earth's crust, or noble metals not usually forming compounds such as gold. The ores must be processed to extract the elements of interest from the waste rock and from the ore minerals. Ore bodies are formed by a variety of geological processes. The process of ore formation is called ore genesis. Ore deposits An ore deposit is an accumulation of ore. This is distinct from a mineral resource as defined by the mineral resource classification criteria. An ore deposit is one occurrence of a particular ore type. Most ore deposits are named according to their location for example, the Witwatersrand, South Africa, or after a discoverer e.g. the Cambalda nickel shoots are named after drillers, or after some whimsy, a historical figure, a prominent person, something from mythology Phoenix, Kraken, Serapentleopard, etc. or the code name of the resource company which found it e.g. minus five Macedonian dinars is the in-house name for the Mount Keith nickel. Classification Ore deposits are classified according to various criteria developed via the study of economic geology, or ore genesis. The classifications below are typical. Hydrothermal epigenetic deposits Mesothermal load gold deposits, typified by the Golden Mile, Kalgoorlie Archean conglomerate hosted gold uranium deposits, typified by Elliott Lake, Ontario, Canada and Witwatersrand, South Africa Carlin type gold deposits, including Epithermal stockwork vein deposits <laughs> Granite-related hydrothermal IOCG or iron oxide copper gold deposits, typified by the supergiant Olympic Dam CUOU deposit. Porphyry copper plus or minus gold plus or minus molybdenum plus or minus silver deposits. Intrusive related copper gold plus or minus tin tungsten, typified by the Tombstone, Arizona deposits. Hydromagmatic magnetite iron ore deposits and scarns. Scarn ore deposits of copper, lead, zinc, tungsten, etc. Topic: <laughs> Magmatic deposits. Magmatic nickel copper iron PGE deposits including cumulate vanadiferous or platinum bearing magnetite or chromite. Cumulate hard rock titanium ilmenite deposits. Komatiite hosted Ni Cu PGE deposits. Subvolcanic feeder subtype, typified by Norilsk Talnik and the Thompson Belt, Canada Intrusive related Ni Cu Pge, typified by Voises Bay, Canada and Jinchuan, China Lateritic nickel ore deposits, examples include Guro and Akoji, Philippines and Ravensthorpe, Western Australia <laughs> Volcanic related deposits Volcanic hosted massive sulfide VHMS CUPBZN including Examples include Teutonic Bore and Golden Grove, Western Australia Beshi type Kuroko type <laughs> Metamorphically reworked deposits Podiform serpentinite hosted paramagmatic iron oxide chromite deposits, typified by Savage River, Tasmania iron ore, Kubina chromite deposit Broken Hill type PBZN AG, considered to be a class of reworked SEDEX deposits. 
Carbonatite alkaline igneous related Phosphorus tantalite vermiculite Falaborwa, South Africa. Rare earth elements, Mount Weld, Australia and Bayan Oboe, Mongolia Diatreme hosted diamond in kimberlite, lamproite or lamprophyre. <inaudible> Sedimentary deposits Banded iron formation iron ore deposits, including Channel iron deposits or pisolite type iron ore Heavy mineral sands ore deposits and other sand dune hosted deposits Alluvial gold, diamond, tin, platinum or black sand deposits Alluvial oxide zinc deposit type, sole example scorpion zinc <inaudible> Sedimentary hydrothermal deposits Sedex Lead zinc silver, typified by Red Dog, MacArthur River, Mount Isa, etc. Stratiform arcos hosted and shale hosted copper, typified by the Zambian copper belt. Stratiform tungsten, typified by the Erzgebirge deposits, Czechoslovakia. Exhalate of spilite chert hosted gold deposits. Mississippi Valley type MVT zinc lead deposits. Hematite iron ore deposits of altered banded iron formation. Astroblame related ores Sudbury Basin Nickel and Copper, Ontario, Canada Extraction The basic extraction of ore deposits follows these steps Prospecting or exploration to find and then define the extent and value of ore where it is located. Ore body. Conduct resource estimation to mathematically estimate the size and grade of the deposit Conduct a pre-feasibility study to determine the theoretical economics of the ore deposit. This identifies, early on, whether further investment in estimation and engineering studies is warranted and identifies key risks and areas for further work. Conduct a feasibility study to evaluate the financial viability, technical and financial risks and robustness of the project and make a decision as whether to develop or walk away from a proposed mine project. This includes mine planning to evaluate the economically recoverable portion of the deposit, the metallurgy and ore recoverability, marketability and payability of the ore concentrates, engineering, milling and infrastructure costs, finance and equity requirements and a cradle-to-grave analysis of the possible mine, from the initial excavation all the way through to reclamation. Development to create access to an ore body and building of mine plant and equipment. The operation of the mine in an active sense. Reclamation to make land where a mine had been suitable for future use. Topic: Trade. Ores, metals are traded internationally and comprise a sizable portion of international trade in raw materials, both in value and volume. This is because the worldwide distribution of ores is unequal and dislocated from locations of peak demand and from smelting infrastructure. Most base metals copper, lead, zinc, nickel are traded internationally on the London Metal Exchange, with smaller stockpiles and metals exchanges monitored by the COMEX and NYMEX exchanges in the United States and the Shanghai Futures Exchange in China. Iron ore is traded between customer and producer, though various benchmark prices are set quarterly between the major mining conglomerates and the major consumers, and this sets the stage for smaller participants. Other, lesser, commodities do not have international clearing houses and benchmark prices, with most prices negotiated between suppliers and customers one-on-one. -on -one. This generally makes determining the price of ores of this nature opaque and difficult. Such metals include lithium, niobium tantalum, bismuth, antimony and rare earths. Most of these commodities are also dominated by one or two major suppliers with greater than 60% of the world's reserves. The London Metal Exchange aims to add uranium to its list of metals on warrant. The World Bank reports that China was the top importer of ores and metals in 2005 followed by the US and Japan. Important ore minerals
Topic See also Economic geology Mineral resource classification Ore genesis Petrology Froth flotation Extractive metallurgy or processing